Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue with Run DLL or Run DLL 32. And you may just be wondering, what is this? And it's a, normally a safe file unless it's some sort of malicious copycat, but in most cases, it's a legitimate Windows file. And this is responsible for executing functions defined in DLL files which stands for Dynamic Link Library. So all DL files contain are just instructions in the forms of functions and codes that may be needed by multiple programs simultaneously. And run DLL32 kind of brings it all together. So if you're having a problem with this in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in CMD, Best match, you'll come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm gonna have a couple of commands in the description of the video. First one is a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And once that's finished, go ahead and copy and paste the next command in the description of my video. This is the system file checker utility and give us a couple minutes to run. Once that has concluded, close out of here and restart your computer.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue should have been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.